Uh, thank you so much, uh, guys, for staying with me. So we're going to dissect through the digestive first. So we open it, we make a midline incision, and then we go to the sides, and then we go to the sides, and then, you know, uh, we open it up, and then we'll be able to see uh, the, the, the diaphragm demarcating the abdominal cavity from the thoracic cavity. And then uh, here we're going to palpate for the xiphoid process, which is you know that pointy part of the sternum that's where the diaphragm is going to be so we're going to make that incision to here I, I can feel mine right there you understand right there and i bet you the diaphragm is going to be running across like that okay so that's how we're going to do this and uh, so uh, so i'm going to just make that midline incision over here okay Sure that I have made. All right. So I'm going to stop right there, um, and then I will be able to see. And then I'm going to make this other incision going down here. Okay. All right, my good friends, and so forth. And you can see the greater momentum already. Do you see the greater momentum covering the uh, intestines and so forth? Okay, so we're going to make an incision over here. Bing, 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 bing. bing. Yeah, this, this is really tagged nicely, but the veins blew up. You see here, the veins blew up, unfortunately. And so, so there is that. Uh, do you see this blue blob? It's not supposed to be there. Uh, so unfortunately, this will not be a good deal for our circulatory system. But not to worry, because we've got the other cat from the other side. Hopefully, that is not blown up like this one. It it blew up. They they, they really got a little too happy in infusing the the deal. You know what I'm saying? Bum, bum, bing, bum, bing, bum, bing. Okay, my good friends. You see what I'm saying? You see, they really blew it up. Uh, they, they totally pulverized it. You know what I'm saying? So now I could see my diaphragm is going to be starting up here. So I make another, in, uh, just another one. Okay? And then you could see this brown. You see, that's where my diaphragm is. So when I make this incision going down like that, and the ribs are going to start here too. You see what I'm saying? I'm going to be also cutting the uh, diaphragm. Uh, from the wall so that I could you know s s see it. You see what I'm saying? So I'm gonna be doing this. So I, I do my blunt end again inwards here Do you see how I'm already cutting the diaphragm from the deal from the wall like that? You see there's the diaphragm. Do you see now you can see my lungs? I can see my lungs. Do you see? Oh my god, isn't that cutie cutie? Okay, very good Bing. <laughs> Is the respiratory system that's going to be real hard uh, again? My blunt end towards the cat, and you could see here. Do you see the diaphragm? See the diaphragm over there, over here. So, so I go along that line right there, and I'm going to cut my cipher process just a little bit. Voila, voila. We open it up, it's got all sorts of cat juices in it. Uh, so, so you see what I'm saying, my good friend? And then I've already cut my diaphragm from the wall. You see my xiphoid process? See, it's right on there. Isn't that cool, you my good friend? You see, anatomy never lies. It's like that all the time. Uh, Bing. Uh, this is going to be the stuff. So, so now, what I will do, the hard part is cutting this. Uh, so I, I finish it off like that. So the digestive is real easy, right? The digestive. So you guys, when you get to do yours, and then you can do this, do you understand uh, the digestive system? Um, so, um, so there's the greater momentum, okay? Um, and uh, uh, you could see. Um, so, 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 so that I'll, I'll have a video for the digestive system. Then, I'll, when I start doing this, because this takes a little bit longer, I'll have a separate video for the respiratory system. Isn't that cool, my good friends, and so forth? Okay, so what is this? Greater momentum. Remember, I told you it's like an apron stuck uh, to the greater curvature of the stomach. So this is the stomach right here. 
You see what I'm saying? We'll be able to see much better once we remove this, you know. But for now, since we want to have the two videos, we, we, we want to finish this already, okay? So you could see there is the uh, lesser momentum, you see, attached to the lesser curvature, and there's the greater curvature, and then there's the pylorus. You could just, the, there's the canal really, and you could see here, and if, you, if I was to touch it, I could feel it. So there's the um, pyloric sphincter over here. And then there's the pyloric uh, pylorus or pyloric region, okay, which is kind of up to here. You see, there's the canal and the antrum. But in the exam, I just want you to say pylorus. If I point towards here, pylorus or pyloric region. And anyway, in the middle, the body. Okay, and then up here is the fundus. You can see how it kind of bulges up here, up here. So the fundus is up here. You see what I'm saying? And then the cardiac sphincter is over here. Okay, uh, so maybe it's covered a little bit. You can see the caudate lobe. You see what I told you that the lesser omentum attaches the lesser cavity of the stomach to the liver. You understand? So I'm going to do that and remove it. Do you see what I'm saying? I'm going to do that and then I'm going to expose. So we might as well do the, so there's the, there's the caudate lobe. Do you understand? You see what I'm saying, my good friends? Mm -hmm. So there's the caudate lobe. This one that points like a finger like this. Now I'm not gonna use my middle one, cause then, <laughs> cause each time I wanna do that. So there's the um, caudate lobe, okay? A and you know that this is the right side, right? Cause there's the, remember I told you that uh, the gallbladder is on the, right median lobe so you know this is going to be the left median lobe this is the left lateral lobe and then if i point to this and i'm like what's that organ you say gallbladder gallbladder you see how it's coming there and then this is the right median lobe right median lobe so we're missing one right we said five we already done the caudate lobe over here on the inside the caudate lobe being uh, look here and then i told you like i told you there's the kidney right there this guy's the over infused the, that's why it's all blurry it's not supposed to be like that okay uh the, so hopefully when i do the other one for the other group then we'll be able to see without uh, all this blue in there okay my good friends so there's the right lateral lobe you see what I'm saying? And all both of these are right lateral lobe. So you have to really open it like this, go down here, and then there's, the, of course, the right kidney. Okay? So the right lateral lobe, right median lobe, which is the gallbladder in the that's organ is the gallbladder. And there's the left median lobe. And then, and then this is the right la left lateral lobe. Okay? So we've done the regions of the stomach, the lesser momentum greater momentum we retract the greater momentum like that oh crap it crap <laughs> do you see it's even wrapping around voila what do you see right out of the stomach you see here there's the pyloric sphincter i told you and then this is the you know it's the duodenum right and then what did i say the duodenum does is cradles the head of the pancreas so look here look here so there's going to be pancreas, 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 all the way here, pancreas, and then boom, spleen, like a, it's, it's, it's over there, you know what I'm saying? So, so all this is pancreas, 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 pancreas. That's why you know this is the duodenum, right? Because the pancreas runs alongside the duodenum, okay? And then anywhere in the middle, jejunum, and there's mesentery. There's the mesentery. Do you see that? So anyway, if I point anywhere in the middle, because you can't see the demarcation between the jejunum and the uh, ilium or the, the, the duodenum. So you know the duodenum because it's right after the stomach and it's by the pancreas. So duodenum, anywhere in the middle, jejunum, and then you have to look for it. You have to look for it. Uh, this one was full of food. There's the, whatchamacallit, the urinary bladder, correct? Mm-hmm. You're another bladder. So this is a male cat. Oh, you see what I'm saying? So so this is a spermatic arteries and stuff like that. Uh, you know. Uh, but uh, this is the other one. So we have to look for the large intestine, right? So voila, we see it, right? We see the small intestine is connected to this fat part. Remember, no ostra. Look here. Look how smooth it is. 
Okay, do you understand, my good friends? Look how smooth it is. So there's the ascending colon. There's the cecum. You see, below the this. So if I if for the ilium, I'll make sure it's close to the large intestine. You see what I'm saying? So I put the arrow here. Then you know this ilium. You understand? Anyway, in the middle, jejunum. jejunum. Over here, duodenum. You understand? And those, all, all those are coming. And obviously the mesentery. Okay? So this is the ascending colon. And then the U-shaped, it's like an inverted U like this. Okay? So this will be the ascending colon. This will be the transverse colon. And then this will be the descending. This one was full of food. It, it was about to go and then they killed it. Number two. You see what I'm saying? So it's full of it was just about to go. I'm sorry, uh, but that's how it is. Uh, so, so there is the descending, <laughs> descending colon, right? Descending colon. There's no sigmoid colon, and then it's gonna be rectum, and then anal canal and the outside. Okay, and then we are done. Do you understand? We are done. We got the pancreas over here. We got the uh, lobes of the uh, liver, and then obviously there's the digestive system. I mean the respiratory system, starting with the. Uh, diaphragm okay so we're gonna have to shut down this video can you do this for me now